So let's talk about odd time signatures and uneven measures. In modern Western uh, popular music, which is rock music, metal music, everything you know probably, um, usually a lot of the music is in 4-4 four, four or 12-8 or kind of triplet based. Actually, um, it has become more and more popular to uh, also use uneven measures like 7-8 or 5-4 or ki these kind of things. In progressive metal music, however, it's very common to use odd time signatures. You usually um, try to play something even like a 4-4 measure, like, you know, the basic 2-4 uh, and four backbeat. This chapter will feature everything that is not like this and not having a straightforward backbeat. Usually um, it's all in your head when you want to play like for instance a 5-8. You think like oh I have to count all those things because when you start learning drums and playing this kind of regular 4-4 four, four groove it's like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and you start counting on it but basically this counting method is, is not pro possibly the best so at a certain point you just know how to play a 4-4 four, four beat without counting and just play it and the same thing appears with uh, uneven groupings or odd time signatures at first of course you have to get those uneven groupings in your head and in your mind and get comfortable with. For instance, let's take this 5-8 grouping. So a 5-8 basically is 5-8 notes. What you do is not, you don't count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, you won't get to uh, faster tempos with that or you know think in a musical way if you always have to count until five it's like in a in a four four measure when you count like one and two and three and four and of course you you could also count like one two three four five six seven eight one two but you know you have to overcome the counting so to say what you can use for for doing that is using melodies on the drum set for instance let's say a 5-8 could be subdivided into 2 and 3 so which equals 5 1 2 1 2 3 so here we go and when you have 1 2 1 2 3 you could you could um put those numbers on your hands for instance and play always the one with the right hand and all the other numbers with the left hand and this is a very common thing in progressive rock or metal music to count like this and have a certain accent like one two one two three 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 so this is a certain um, sticking and you can use it like this for instance one two So you have one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So you're always accenting the one. So you could also take this to these toms and play it like this. But what's the point with integrating this into a groove? Actually, you could um, phrase it like one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And then you have like, for instance, um, some um, accents on the one with the hand. Like when you go away from this. Of course, this sounds very dumb. And probably um, if you play in a band, your guitarist won't be happy with, <laughs> with a beat like this. So um, what you could do is take these one two one two three accents on the hi-hat in a 60 note value like and play all the notes but accenting the one like this one two one two three one two one two three so then you could uh, possibly play 
your right bass drum on on those accents so the accents get more clear like this and now you gotta find a spot where the snare fits in I would recommend to start off with a half time figure and which sounds like this You could also do this with 7. So 7 could be subdivided into 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So you have 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, which equals 7. It's the same principle. You gotta find a melody first and get this, this kind of accenting into your memory. Like this, like 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, for instance on the first three toms. These kind of accents uh, you could also use in the same kind of groove and like this on the hi-hat. And then lead with your right bass drum and try to find some snare hits. And I try to, to now shuffle the snare um, hits a little. And what you can also do is um, integrate for metal drumming uh, some double kicks. So at first you have to get started with those kind of odd time signatures and get the different, different um, modulations into your head or into your memory and your feeling actually. And so when you for instance play a 7-8 you should be able at a certain point when you, when you feel comfortable with the, that kind of groove that you um, you know phrase it like in a different way and with some more orchestrations So the same principle could work for 9, 11 and all those kind of things. It's just a matter how you, uh, how you count it and how you subdivide it. For instance, if you have 11 whatsoever, 11, 4 or 11, 8, you could subdivide this into 5 and 6. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the first part would be the 5. So let's take this example and play, uh, f um, phrase it as 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And then you have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, which equals 6. So you have the 5 and 6 subdivided into 2, 3, 3, 3. So it's 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. The same principle which you use for groupings like 5, 8, 7, 8, 9, 8, 11, whatsoever, you could use for a um, more complicated type of signature, for instance a 13 or 15 sixteenth. Talking about the 4-4 four, four groove again. So a 4-4 four, four groove is mathematically 8-8 eight, eight notes, which is the same than 16-16 sixteen, sixteen notes. Actually it's like a 4-4 four, four groove with, with one 16 note missing. When you 
take the last counting, like the f the four. There are not four quarter notes, there are only th three quarter notes. So what you do actually, you take that aside and see what's going on before. Okay, that's a three four. So you have 12 16th notes, which I equals a three four. So you have one and two and three and and then three sixteen notes, like one, two, three, one. So it's like